Hello and welcome to your Wednesday Weekly, five minutes for you. I'm Tamara Zoner, sharing tips, tools, and practices each week to help you along in this journey called life. Today, we're going to expand on something I mentioned on Monday, and that is a little bit of inner critic work. So we all have this voice inside of our heads and it isn't always supportive. You may know by now, if you've been watching for a while, that we have on average 60,000 thoughts every single day, and 95% of those thoughts are repeated day after day after day. Our minds are like broken records, and 80% of those thoughts are negative. So we're broken records for the negative, constantly telling ourselves that we've done something wrong, that we shouldn't do this, that this is awful, that life is terrible. And so we have to actually work to flip what Dr. Rick Hansen calls the negativity bias into the positivity bias. We want to Velcro, the positives, and Teflon, the negatives, which is the opposite of what we naturally do. And one of the ways we want to do this is, as always, through awareness. Awareness of what the most frequent or harmful thing is that we're saying to ourselves. So I want to invite you to pause the video and take a few minutes to write down five or more but cap your time limit at five minutes. I usually say five is enough. Beyond that, we're just gonna spiral down. Five things your inner bully or inner critic is frequently saying to you. Things like, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough, I'm not pretty enough, I'm too fat, I'm too dumb, I'm so useless. Any of those very negative things. And no, normally we don't wanna just sit thinking about all the horrible things we say to ourselves, but there's no way we can clean anything up if we're not aware that the mess is even there. And so we are going to do some excavating today and dig up the old rooted, limiting and hurtful beliefs causing that negative self-talk. So take five minutes or less and come up with three to five things that your inner bully is always saying to you. Now that you have those, let's say five things that your inner critic is frequently saying to you, I want you to pause the video again in a moment and look over your list and allow yourself to feel your feelings as you read the list. And whichever message is the loudest, the most frequent, or the most hurtful, I want you to circle that one. So go ahead and take a moment now, pause the video, and look over your list. Okay, now you have that number one limiting bully belief phrase statement circled. And now what you're going to do is you are going to find a stop word. I talked about this, I believe, on Monday. Finding a way to interrupt the pattern of self-bullying is the first way to change your relationship with yourself and use more affirming language. You might say, stop, cancel, delete. You might pull out a character from a favorite movie that uh, is an interruption or stop. I like to use the uh, Billy Crystal's wife from The Princess Bride when she says, liar, 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 because that inner critic is a liar. So go ahead and pause this video again and brainstorm some phrases or words that you could use to stop that inner bully in its tracks. Okay, now that you have that stop word, that word or phrase that you're going to use to interrupt your pattern of inner bullying, self-bullying, now what I want you to do is practice this 
for the next week. And then next week, we're going to follow up on the next part of this exercise. So practice becoming, first of all, aware of when you are doing your inner bullying, of when those negative repeating thoughts are occurring. And then use that stop word or phrase to interrupt the pattern. Be kind to yourself, be compassionate with yourself. And remember you have other tools as well to help you if this work makes you feel like you're a little muddier, a little more in the dirt than before. Remember, when we're cleaning out a closet, the room that we're in often gets a lot messier before it gets clean, clear, organized, and supportive of ourselves. You can do this. You've got this. I believe in you and I'm here to support you. You can always reach out with questions or if you just need a little verbal hug, I'm here for you. I'm Tamara Zoner. I'll see you again next week. You don't want to miss the next piece of this practice. See you then. Bye.